for dinner we had um we had chili dogs and chips and he came in and he's like how do you eat chips and i just picked one up and i was like and ate it and i was like this is how you eat a chip and he's like all right Mom. smart ass <laughs> Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way Oh, let me up with a bright smile on now Put me in the dark, so won't get lost now To the moonlight I see you, Maria right now Somebody else and that is you Ooh, ooh, I'm falling in with you Not the only one doing me You already feel it that Give me a little more dark in a spotlight Do I wanna know something? You look into my eyes and fell in
week. Hey you guys, so as you can tell from the introduction of this video, Josh is well into his denture journey and he's doing great actually. Of course, cat fight. But anyway, he's doing absolutely great. He's progressing way faster than I did um, with eating and just learning how to take care of his denture and keep himself from getting thrush in his mouth or any other bacteria growing. <laughs> so today is the 22nd, so he is seven, eight, nine days into his Right? Nine days? No, today's the 23rd. That's what I said. Today's the 23rd. You said 22nd. It's the 23rd. <laughs> so he is seven, eight, nine. Nine days. I still had the days right. Yeah. That's nine cool. days into his denture journey, and so much has happened. Um. So I did insert some pictures of... I think day six and day seven of what his meal was. Um, I think it was day three. He was eating meatloaf and mashed potatoes and baked bake, bake bake beans. beans. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, <clears throat> he's killing it food wise. Fat so, man's got to eat. <laughs> fat man's got to eat. <laughs> it's like I tell everybody, I'm fat for a reason. Like I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm not one to stick to a liquid diet by any means, and he is, is and was bound and determined to be able to eat normally, so he's killing it. So a lot has happened in the last nine days. Um, his extraction date was the 14th at like 10.45 in the morning. Surgery lasted just a little bit over an hour um right after surgery they came out and was you know telling me that he did great and he'd be out here in about five to seven minutes it took a little bit longer but josh is not a small man he's quite burly so it was it was quite comical to watch him stumble out to the vehicle but anyway um so we're just going to kind of talk about the things that have happened over these nine days and just kind of give everyone a feel of what you can expect if you're expecting dentures or if you're in the first few days. Maybe this video will give you some tips and tricks and just help you along in your journey. So let's see. The very first thing that... I was told when he came out to the vehicle was that they had put some type of gel in his denture just on the front and a little bit over here kind of on the side um, and you went to you went to DDS and you mm -hmm. saw something I saw a sign that said socket socket gel socket gel so I'm assuming that's what the oral surgeon put in his denture because they did cut his gum open from this side all the way around to about right here because he had, and I'm going to say it wrong, I always do, avoplasty done, which is kind of like a spongy bone. If you look at the texture of a sponge and it's got all the different sizes of holes, that's what his gums look like. So they had to shave all that down and make it all smooth so that he wouldn't have any issues with a denture in the future. So, apparently when they went, the, the oral surgeon went to insert his denture, he was like, oh no, that's not gonna work, and tweaked something on the denture. <clears throat> I'm guessing that he kind of fixed where your notches are over here on the sides because he had a, a spot that I meant to shave down and I forgot about it, which was kind of poking out. So I think he shaved that down, but after that we were good. Um, 
the following day after surgery, he went back to DDS so that any adjustments that needed to be done on his denture, they were able to do and make it to where he wasn't going to have any sores on his, on his gums or anything from his denture because it was ill-fitting. <clears throat> the cats are fine. <laughs> but, um, so when you went to DDS for your next day appointment, did they fix anything at that point? They, <clears throat> they shaved the front edge down and then they shaved the back up because it was gagging. Yeah, because... He, when his impressions were taken for his denture, it, um, he had, he had the big bubbles and everything, so his denture was made with those bubbles, and I'll insert a picture here of the top of his denture, <clears throat> excuse me, but you can tell from that picture that the denture was just too long. Like, it wouldn't even fit in the denture bath. And I'll insert that picture here as well so you can see what I'm talking about. But he just, he kept gagging. And he's like, is it normal? It's kind of normal, but then again, it's not. Because your mind is trying to understand what this foreign object is in your mouth. So, initially gagging is going to be expected to an extent, but after a few days, if you continue to gag all the time, you need to have the back edge shaved down, which is what they had to do at his appointment. So, right here in the front on either side of your flange right here in the center, they shaved his down right here because it was going up way too high. It was like going way up here. And then they shaved down the back so he would quit gagging. Yep. Right? And then... That was all they did at that appointment, wasn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> so I think it was the next day. He was, he was still having a little bit of an issue gagging. And... Again, gagging is expected to an extent, but I ended up taking a brand new fingernail file and kind of straightening the edge and shaving a little, just a hair more off. And, you know, with a, a handheld nail file, you're not going to be able to shave off like inches without spending hours on it. So I literally just shaved it on a little bit and... Have you had any issues gagging since? No. Yeah. No, uh, maybe a couple, but I'm not controlling it better. Is the is the gagging from the denture being too long, or is it be, is, or is it because <clears throat> of the excess saliva that you have in your mouth? Probably the excess saliva, and my denture is starting to get loose. So one of the things that drove me nuts and it seems to be driving his nut, him nuts is the amount of excess saliva that you have in your mouth after getting dentures again it's a foreign object that your mouth is not used to so it's expected it does get better over time and you'll be able to control the amount of saliva that you have at any given moment so um, let's see. I have a little little cheat list. Just a little bit more. You can you can mean it. Oh. Um <clears throat> of course in the beginning you're gonna start out with a super soft diet. Um, let's see. Your first couple of days you had mashed potatoes. Wasn't it eggs? No, no? yeah. Applesauce and pudding. Excuse me. Applesauce and pudding. He he probably ate that for two days. <clears throat> and then he got to the point where he's like, I'm tired of this. 
I need some real food, so what can I eat? Go ahead and buy me a, a banquet TV dinners. A banquet TV dinner, yeah. He, 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 he went back to work. He had his surgery on a Wednesday, and he went back to work on Friday. So, props to him. Like, I, I wouldn't know. I'm a big baby, so I would have stayed home like two weeks. <laughs> But slowly he started to incorporate different things. I think the next actual meal that he had was, was, was it the, the meatloaf or was it the, um, I think it was stew. No. no. We went to DS and then we went to Sis's appointment. Then we had with the meatloaf for lunch. Yeah. So his first full actual meal was meatloaf mashed potatoes and gravy and baked beans that it, it took him a little while but it tasted so good <laughs> he was tired of the taste of applesauce and pudding so i'm sure anything tasted good at that point but i mean it was definitely you know you know our daughter was with us because she had a braces appointment um to get her top wire put on but we were done eating and he still like i don't even think he was halfway through because you have to learn how to chew with your prosthetic. It's not a very quick learning process. It, it takes time. You have to learn how to utilize your denture to benefit you. So was any of those three like really hard to try to maneuver or was it fairly easy? Mm -hmm. No, that, those are fairly easy. Because they uh, were all soft, right? Yeah, they were all pretty soft. The banquet TV dinner, the vegetable, that was the hardest part. Everything else was fine. So his, his lunch after that for the next day was, like you said, a banquet TV dinner, and it was... I think it was Salisbury steak, corn, mashed potatoes, and an apple dessert. Kind of like a little apple pie, just but the pie filling. oh, just the filling. Yeah, just the no filling. crust. You don't yeah. need crust. But he said that the hardest part of that was the corn. <clears throat> corn, unless you boil the crap out of it, it doesn't get soft. Like it, it takes a while, and it's got kind of a rubbery texture. So, corn in your first week I definitely wouldn't recommend that at all it's just a very hard food and especially because he still had stitches in so yeah. w once you are on your way to completely healing and you still have your stitches in when you bite down you're gonna have pressure where the stitch knots are or if some of his were kind of a continuous stitch so it would pull one way or another and it just caused pain. But after that, um, it was barbecue, ground up uh, hamburger meat, and yep. fried potatoes, right? Yep. They all taste great. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any issues with the, with the fried potatoes? No, because I cooked them a little longer. So they make sure they're soft. So, ground up hamburger meat. And of course, you have to chop it up really fine. If it's any big pieces, you're probably going to struggle with that just a little bit. Um, but as long as you chop it up really small, you'll be good to go. You'll be able to eat it, no problem. Um, I know there are a few times where he's like, can I eat this? I'm like, I mean, you can. Uh, it's probably going to hurt, but you can. You know, if, if you don't try to eat new things, you're never going to learn how to eat them with your prosthetic. It's just, you're just never going to learn it. Um, he does kind of get agitated at me because, like today, for dinner we had, um, we had chili dogs and chips. And he came in and he's like, how do you eat chips? 
And I just picked one up and I was like, and ate it. And I was like, this is how you eat a chip. And he's like, all right, Mom. smart ass. <laughs> like, figure it out. You know, it's, it's literally trial and error. And I know he doesn't like hearing that. You know, he's, I think he's, he's kind of enjoyed having a, a, a denture mentor that has been through all this and can tell him exactly, you know, you're not going to go eat that yet. Well, you could try, but you're you're not going to. You'll take one bite and you'll be like, I'm done. Right? Yeah. <laughs> he did, though. Um, my daughter had a track meet the other day, and we stopped at Burger King. And we got the Whopper deals. And he, he's excited to bite into this hamburger. Like, he wants to, to see if he can bite into it. And he took like a half, halfway bite, and he's like, oh no, that's not going to work. I said, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, you're not going to be able to eat the onions, or you're not going to be able to bite through the onions, the tomatoes, or the pickles. It's too soon. Your, the amount of pressure that biting into it puts on your gums is unbearable. And I still had stitches. Yeah, and he still had stitches at that time. But... So needless to say, the onions, the tomatoes, and the pickles all came off the burger, but and, and the lettuce, you couldn't bite through the lettuce. I just took it all off away and went to that <laughs> He wasn't even trying that. But I mean, kudos to him. He bit through the top bun, the hamburger patty, and the bottom bun, and and he killed that <laughs> hamburger. Slowly but true. Yeah, slowly. You you gotta go slow. You can't you can't rush into anything. You have to take your time. Um, let's see. What else? He is running into the problem of his denture being, I'm going to say, suctioned really, really well. So he keeps sticking his finger, you know, back here at the free edge and, and popping it loose. But if you're somewhere and you're not able to wash your hands before you stick your fingers in your mouth, there's another way to do it. Close your lips and blow your cheeks out like a puffer fish and take your tongue and just gently push on the back edge of your denture and it will cause it to drop. I keep trying to tell him to do that, but he's already used to sticking that finger in there and popping it loose. I'm like, it's quick. Dude, I know, but... I'm scared. Yes. Germs <laughs> are on your fingers, though. Don't just randomly stick your fingers in your mouth to well, like loosen this. your denture. <laughs> Don't do it. You know, I'm to the point now that... I mean, I play with my denture all the time. I mean, he can, yep. he can vouch. <laughs> it's just, if I feel like it's causing too much pressure on my gums, then I pop it loose and just kind of let it hang in there for a second and then seat it back up there where it's supposed to be. The proper way to seat your denture, which seat means to, really? <laughs> No, you didn't have to pop it loose. Mm -hmm. It's hurting. <laughs> when your denture is seated correctly and lines up where it's supposed to be with your notches and your teeth, if you have if you have a lower denture or your real teeth down here, um, the quickest, easiest way to seat your denture is to okay, <laughs> is to put your teeth together. Ignore him. He's getting on my nerves. Is to put your teeth together and swallow. That'll seat your denture correctly and it, you won't have any, any shifting or moving or anything like that. Are you done playing with your denture? No. <laughs> I do have to admit, um, you know, I've been on my journey for two years so I'm two years in and it, it, it's it's kind of 
I guess I'm going to say stupid. It's kind of stupid that to think about him not having teeth, like, makes me nauseous. I can't. <laughs> That's messed up. I know, and I, I don't know why. I guess it's different, you know, seeing someone else's mouth and stitches and extraction sites. Like, it just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't sit very well with me. I had to, uh, I took some pictures, which those were in the, uh, the intro, but he's like, I need you to look at this stitch. Like, the, it's something, and, and it was a stitch right here, and it was a sore spot or something, and so I was like, okay, look, it's in my throat now, just thinking about it, but I'm trying to look. And I need, I need to see if something is attached. So I grab a Q-tip and I'm like trying to see where it's attached. Well, then his saliva gets on the Q-tip and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Do the same thing with a baby I just, I can't. It's just so gross. Like I, I can't. I'm like, and if he needs me to look at something, I'm like, you need to go like, if it's on the denture, like you need to go clean your denture and then I'll look at it. If it's in your mouth, like you need to go rinse your mouth out with mouthwash or Something like I I I can't. It's just, uh, no, it's so gross. I just can't stand it. But this one sends me a message this morning, and he's like, "I know you're gonna be mad, <laughs> but I took my stitches out. They came loose." I'm like, <sighs> of course I'm in the middle of of work stuff, so I'm. I'm trying to calm myself down because the bear in me wants to go, are you stupid? Like, you have your follow-up, your post-op appointment for the oral surgeon in, like, what? Six days. Five days. And, and, and you decided to take your stitches out. Like, wh why? They broke free. They dissolved. They were loose. I felt something on my denture. Like something was on my denture. I took my denture out. There was nothing on my denture, and I felt my gums, and they were all loose. So. So I proceeded to pull them out. Typically, with dissolvable stitches, anywhere between seven and ten days, they're gonna dissolve anyway. And with mine, like I would take my denture out, and there'd be a, a suture in my denture. So yes, it was probably time. Um. I do recommend, though, if your stitches are <clears throat> really loose, that call your oral surgeon just to double check with them. Hey, they're really loose. They're getting caught in my denture. Am I good to take them out? Because you don't want to take them out too soon. Right? Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> but, on the plus side, my mouth is not hurting as bad as it was. Yeah, that's that's... The only positive thing with the stitches being being taken out is he's not sore anymore. I mean, he's still healing. It's going to take months for his gum, gum line to completely heal. But he doesn't have the pressure points anymore when he's eating. So that's always a good thing. Free for all. <laughs> he thinks free for all until he tries to eat something. And he's like, I can't eat it. He does have a problem, though, with, um, if he chews on one side, the denture kind of rocks and shifts, and when that happened with me, they had to shave the roof part down, um, just so it wasn't as high, and then I no longer had any shifting or rocking or anything like that. Your next appointment with DDS is the 29th? Yeah. So, six days? Yeah. So, in six days, he will get his first soft liner. I'm going to try and beg and plead with DDS to let me record just him. Because um, he didn't like the impressions. He was gagging and couldn't yeah. breathe out of his nose because he had sinus pressure and all that stuff because of the bad teeth. So... I'm anxious to see how uh, how he does with the soft liner. I'm sure he's gonna be gagging. 
guarantee a gig. Right? All right, you guys. Well, this video is going to be like 30 minutes long, so we're going to cut it off. This is only part one of Josh's denture journey. Um, I'm going to document as much as I can throughout this whole process. So, yeah. If you have any questions, um, need some advice, need some, some uh, positive energy to go through with your extract extractions, Comment below, I'll be happy to answer any questions or anything that you have. Um, you know, if any of you have questions for Josh, you can comment below and I'll have him jump on there and uh, reply as well. So, yeah. Alright, I love you guys. Don't forget, be unstoppable in everything that you do. Don't let anybody hold you back. Only you define your future. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.